Hey guys, so it's lunchtime now, and I've just come in to um, uh, just to check out the mixed class for BJJ. It's pretty good, man. It's pretty impressive. There's a lot of um, uh, mixed fighters. So you've got a white belt fighting a, a purple belt, which is to the white belt was in trouble. But it's all practice. So I'm co going to come back later for the for the BJJ lesson. Um, I'm looking forward to it, although the warm-up I'm not looking forward to because I know what's going to happen. I want to pass out, not pass out, but you know, get tired and I won't be able to do some of the moves. But anyway, we'll see how it goes. So later, I'll come in for the, uh, for the mixed, um, oh sorry, for the beginners, BJJ. Last time I enjoyed it, this time I don't know. We'll see how it goes. So, uh, yeah, I think I'll leave it at that. Hey guys, just came out of the um, first, well, second BJJ lesson presented you to. And um, to be honest with you, I wasn't too pleased. Not with the performance, but um, I don't know, man. I think the trainer, the, the guy who taught me today was the owner. And he, didn't, he wasn't happy that I brought my own gi. And um, he, he was pretty aggressive towards me today. But I think this is his character. This is how he gets discipline to people. Um, my gi came off, so the belt came off. And uh, after the game, he kind of uh, had a go at me for, um, for not putting my belt on. So um, it's, um, it was quite, it wasn't, it wasn't good, man. Just being shouted out in front of everyone else. Especially my first day. If I knew what the protocol was, I'd have put it on, you know? Put the belt so during the fight I was proper fighting like proper grappling on the floor and um, my gi came off so the belt came off and when the lesson finished I didn't put the belt on I didn't know I had to put it on so um, he probably had a go at me for not putting it on and he thought it was disrespectful I assume it is because maybe that's what the protocol is but now I know next time put your gi on properly when the at the beginning at the end so um, anyway I got uh, it was a good session I think I've learned a lot Especially my first proper grappling, man. Um, I got bruises in my arm. I'm trying to show you. See that? See that bruises? And this side as well. See that? I don't know if you can see it properly. But let me just lift my arm. I think that will show more tomorrow. Proper like cuts and everything. This way as well. It's worse this time here. It's worse here. Look at that. So this will bruise up tomorrow. But it's all good, man. It was a good training session in terms of learning, definitely. It wasn't good that I got told off. But it is what it is, man. That's how you get discipline. The same with karate, same with taekwondo, the same with every single martial arts out there. You need to be disciplined. And I guess that's what he was doing, trying to teach me discipline. I know it was probably harsh on the first day. And I'm glad it was over because... Um, because um, uh, halfway through I got really tired. But anyway, I'm going to go to a burger joint now with my friends. I want to have a good time. It's Friday, and I'm, going to, I'm looking forward to the weekend, having a good time. Peace out, people. Peace out. See you next time. I was going to have a burger after training, but this is what I'm having. Hey guys, how are you doing? So, um... It's about 24 hours since the uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu lesson that I had yesterday. Uh, it was a very intense lesson. Mm -hmm. I did enjoy it, learned quite a lot. Um, uh, just probably didn't, what I, what I didn't like is the strictness of the uh, trainer. But I think really it's a disciplined martial arts and you need to be disciplined. So, one way or another, you have to learn it. So, uh, I guess this is the only way. But you know what? I got into all sorts of locks and uh, I learned quite a lot um, in terms of um, arm locks and how to get out of certain moves and for the for the first proper lesson in grappling it was quite intense and uh, I think if every lesson is like that I will get much stronger anyway so I, I did pick up some injuries so I think my wrist is quite sprained and I think because I was so tired, I must have strained it trying to 
um, do my gi. So I think this thing happened. Anyway, other things I've got is this here. So I'm not sure if you'll see it, but yeah, you see that? Got that bruise here and, and probably scratches. I'm not sure how visible. But what, what is even bigger is this. Look at that. Now that is a big bruise. Look at that. Massive bruise. Yeah. Huge bruise. Quite, quite painful. So um, other places that hurt is my uh, chest. Because um, I think people had their weights on my chest. You know when we did the grappling. So one of the things that when I locked when I locked their arm, they had to get out. So they were using their heads to push on my chest. Or when they did break free, they put their knees on my chest trying to get out. So um, that was one thing they did. And also um, uh, my neck, I got choked with my own gi. Someone grabbed my gi and choked me with it. <laughs> so apparently it's a move you could do. Uh, so my neck, the back of my neck hurts. <clears throat> um, and uh, my my legs, I got bruises on my legs, but I think cause they, were, they were trying to kick me out of the way when we were grappling. So yeah, all in all, bruises means that something's happening that is good. I feel I'm getting the exercise I need because by the time I'm finished, I'm drenched in sweat. So it means uh, that I'm uh, working hard, but you know what? I am smashed. I am absolutely tired. It's um, almost 11 p.m. the following day from Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and I'm still tired. And Monday I've got Muay Thai because that's the beginner's class or the basics class. So yeah, until Monday, I will see you then and uh, got to get some sleep. I got to get some sleep. But I feel it now, man. I'm starting to feel, I'm starting to get into the whole motion of fighting and and it's enjoyable, man. It's enjoyable. So you'd be surprised what you can do when you're under pressure and and um, you need to do certain things. So, yeah. Anyway, see you next time, guys. Have a great time. Take it easy.